Yeah, hold on. Hilton. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, hey, we're live right now. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, what's so, up? hey, um, yeah, so we were, like, right in the middle of talking about, like, one of these Blue Angel planes went down yesterday, I guess. Wait, go to the comment section to the right. Hey, uh, Hilton, how you doing? I'm Christian. I'm Joe. Um, hey, what's up, Christian? What's up, Joe? Thank you for having me. Yeah, <laughs> man. It's never too late, right? Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, we still got 14 yeah, minutes to show. Right. Zoltan commented. Yeah, you know what? I got really confused because, you know, the short week, mm-hmm. I thought today was Wednesday. When you tell me today, I'm like, wait a minute. Today's Thursday. <laughs> I could go on today. I'm like, oh, man. But cool, man. I'm glad to... Uh, uh, oh yeah! On the show oh and, yeah! Uh, um, I I connected with uh, Kyle. Kyle, yes. Yeah, and um, and I was like, he's like, send me this link, and I'm like, looking at what you guys got going on. I'm like, dude, this is kind of cool. Let me yeah. let me reach out to all these guys because, like, I you know, I'm more than happy to have anybody come on. Um, because we just have like a this tiny little nothing uh internet radio show, right? <laughs> Ah, oh, dude, no, no, it's so it's, it's good, though. Um, so tell me, because like I was watching your guys's, um, I, I don't know if you want to call it a trailer or what, because like I'm trying to figure out is it is it a movie or is it like a TV show? Like, what are you guys trying to do? Well, you you know, it's funny. It seems like it, it, it did get. There are people that are confused. Even there's people that think it's a video game. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like see. I could see the television. I can see the you know what is it a TV series movie? What mm-hmm. is it? I can see that. All sure. right. You know because it was a very short. It was a short video. Yeah. And you know I think I took it too far when they say you know leave the audience you know wanting more. I I did a little bit too much. <laughs> yeah. No. But so there's people that you know. DM me every day and it's like, dude, where can I download the game for free? I'm like, what are you talking about? What, <laughs> what game? And they're like, this is the coolest game I've ever played. You know, people like to play off, you know, they like to lie yeah. on Twitter. I'm like, dude, you you just you got caught out there. It's not even a game. I don't know where, you know, I don't, I don't get it. Like, every it's like, day. yeah, it's like Kimmel when he. Like, it's not a game. And I think about it, I'm like, you know what? I think the next thing I'm going to do is a game. Yeah, yeah, I, dude. Everybody thinks it's a game, and you know, whatever. Right. So it's a, it's a movie. Okay, we had started about four years ago on the first episode, and it got really popular four years ago. Yeah. and you know, since then we have five episodes that's available online. Okay, and from there we we started also uh, doing the comic book that's which is in progress right now. We should be hopefully done in like you know a couple months. Okay, oh, nice. and then from there, you know, the main thing is everybody keeps on asking, when are you going to make a movie? Yeah. yeah, people would love to have a television series, but you know, you know, first things first. You know, let's do the movie. Hopefully, yeah. we can get more traction. And dude, it would be solid, and you know, it'd be amazing if we could get a television series. We, you know, be perfect. Yeah. But you know, we go with it now. You know, there's so much things that's going on with it to keep. You know, with the comic. You know, the series and all. You know. Yeah. So now we would love to make the full length feature film of Zombie with a Shotgun, and well, that's where we at, and that's what the campaign is all about. And see, and I started off the show like I was like I was plugging your Twitter, Kyle's Twitter, the 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 movie's Twitter, um, all that stuff, and and so <clears throat> basic. So like, there's inf- so the information is kind of out there on on the show. So anybody that's playing it back is going to be able to reach out to you guys and actually get to the Indiegogo and all that stuff. So like, I hey, I put my money yeah. in today, bro. Um, Dude, I, I appreciate I'm in. that, man. That's, that, I'm that, in. That, yeah, yeah, because like, I, like how how long has the has the Indiegogo been up? Well, it's been up for a month. Believe it or not, today's okay. exactly been up for a month. We got one more month. And you guys are almost uh, halfway you know, there. We halfway there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, there's a little bit of history. As you know, we had started on the Kickstarter first. Okay, and we decided to shut it down and go into Indiegogo okay. uh, because, again, we we didn't want to get to that point. We're like, dude. We're like short a thousand dollars, and we're not getting none of this money. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, and that's we, the we, only we, thing we, I don't like about this, you know, uh, crowdfunding type, type stuff, because it's it just seems like it's just a money maker for these websites, and they leave yeah. they leave you guys like the idea guys and the project guys high and dry sometimes. Because if you don't hit the full dollar amount, well, we're not going to give you anything. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and that, but that's the thing with Indiegogo. They're going to give yeah. you something. Okay, you know what I mean? They'll give. Okay. You, they're going to give you. So that's why we switch right away. We're like, gotcha. all right, let's see. We saw. You know, we didn't want to take the risk. We didn't want to take. You know, the chance to go that down that route. Yeah. To be able to say, damn, we did so much work. Because you know, as you know, the campaign is a lot of work. Oh, know? absolutely. So, yeah. So you know, we're there. You know, I mean, you know. 
uh, it's you know, it's 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 uh, if look, if I would do it all over again, I definitely would create more of a team because it's it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> right. But <laughs> well, give right. me give me some give me some background on on you because like I didn't have a chance to do any any you know uh, prep as far well, as you, you know, know. I'm from yeah. Well, I'm I'm from New York City. Okay. Um, I've you know been doing filmmaking for the last twenty years. Okay. Um, you know, I've done, you know, shorts, I've done, you know, features, you know, very low end budget, you know, documentaries. And, you know, I have some that's in the market that you can go and search me. You can, you know, see some of the works that I've done. Okay. Um, I pub- you know, I published a, a book that's out, you know, disturbed by Random House and everything like that, a okay. photo book. Uh, so there's, there's things that I've done, you know, you know, there and there, you know, that's pretty cool. You could have searched me. You could look at a lot of my work that I've done. And, uh, I've started, you know, uh, I got into the horror genre again, like four years ago, I decided to like, let me do the genre that I really love. And I've never even done because before I used to do a lot of like dramas and, you know, get the comedy, sure, and, sure. Like, you know, the experimental. And I, and there was years that I, I was stuck with documentaries for a while, you know, of course, because documentaries, you don't have to really spend so much money, you know, you right. doing your, you know, so that I stuck with that for a very long time. And I started to realize, Hey, you know what? I'm working like four years on a freaking documentary and the only thing I'm going to get is a pat on the shoulder and, you know, <laughs> uh, hopefully, you know, I can get some work or somewhere. Yeah, and even right. if I got, a, even I have a, you know, I have a film that's in, in, is getting distribution, but you know, it's not really, you know, nothing there really, you know, the, the platform is not really for, you know, for them, for documentary filmmakers to make money. You know, yeah. you really got to be in the system yeah. or, you know, you may have to have, you know, somebody that gives you grants and everything to right. make these, you know, films. You got to know somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, and it's yeah. the, you know the same thing with filmmaking. Yes, but it's more rewarding. You know, if right. you come with a kick-ass project, and then you know, like, hey, you could plug this in your own. You know, you could self-distribute this. You know, yeah. and make more money in your pocket. You could be able to do some something else. You know, right. I mean, of course, you know, it's no fantasy. Like we're not here to make millions of dollars. You know, everyone always has the wrong impression. You know, filmmaking. Oh, you make a movie, you gonna make millions of dollars. You know, make something. You make money. You could be able to do another project. Hey, and you may get lucky, right? Yeah. You might get the million. Sure. But, yeah. You know, the, you know, the whole thing is, you know, you know, obviously I've been doing it for twenty years. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not there for the dollar. You know, I'm not, you know, just there just to, to, you know, make money. I love the art form. I love it so much. I've been doing it for so long. It's a I'm passion. I'm doing it. Yeah. It's definitely a passion. Right. So, you know, again, that's that's what I've been doing for, you know, many years. And, you know, I mean, like I said, you can search me. You can see a lot of my work there. And then, again, four years ago, I started on doing Zombie with a Shotgun. And then uh, even a year after that, if I correctly, I started another uh, web series called 666, which was pretty cool because uh, Eli Roth's company, which at the, was uh, Crypt TV and Crip Hard, decided right. to... to pick up the the web series and put it onto their platform. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, as yeah, they, yeah. Uh, like a, you know, Crip Horror slash Crip TV series for them. And I started with that, and it was pretty cool. I got a lot of, uh, um, you know, exposure from that. And, okay. and and also, like, a feature film on the works for that might be the next thing that i would be doing, you know, which would be pretty cool. And you could actually see, you can search 666. You can see the episode that's available also online. Yeah, it's a it's a crazy it's a crazy uh, time right now because if you look at even something like like Louis C.K. with his Horace and Pete, and yep. and how he he produced it, he put it together, he put it out, it's his. He he's he distributed it via his website, and you know mm-hmm. it was really well done. The, the 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 people that he got to come in and do this thing. This this stupid little thing he was doing it amazes me. I don't know if you've seen any of that at all. Um, yes, yes, I have. It's it's unbelievable. Um, and and that just it gives people like you the ability to to, to go out and do the same thing. Um, yeah. And it's, so it's really I think it's a because because in you're talking about ideas that wouldn't be uh, brought to market any other way. I totally agree with you. You know, even like, look, five or six years ago, uh, you know, nobody was talking to the, you know, the middleman. You know, we were the middleman, mm-hmm. the independent artists, independent filmmakers. We were the middleman. And you were able to have a distribution company pick you up and be able to do the, you know, the, the business for you to go to the first parties. You know, now, you, you know, the middleman could go straight up to Netflix, Hulu, yes. Amazon. They could do, they do their own distribution, <laughs> iTunes. You know, like five or six years ago, you wasn't really, you know, you wasn't really able to do that. Yeah. You, know, you was pretty kind of stuck. So you're absolutely right. It's a pretty awesome time now 
to be able to say, hey, you know what? I have my idea, and I'm going to go out and test the market on my idea and see how far I can go. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's that's, that's the great thing that's, that's happening now. Yeah. Well, the thing that I'm a little irritated by is the yep. number of followers that that uh, you guys have on the <laughs> on the movie on the movie on your movie Twitter account. Um, yeah. If those people would just fifty cents. If everybody just Dude, went and, and, and did, if everybody just went and did the seven dollars, and yeah. get a bumper sticker, you know, let me let me tell you something. I get that every day, and everybody <laughs> says, you know, I think you bought your followers. It's like, dude, I did not buy my followers. Yeah. It's just that I, I I can't explain it, you know. Yeah. And I have one guy who, you know, um, one guy who told me um, that uh, look, I've seen it all the time. He says I've seen the the best campaigns out there not even reach to go and he said i've seen the other campaigns that are like the shittiest idea yeah and they make it like 10 times <laughs> <laughs> right. So, right so you know i listen it is pretty frustrating after you know i mean look i, I understand it. it is it's a huge dude my, the followership on that movie on the on the zombie twitter is more followership than big projects that are out there in the market right yeah. now it's just pretty weird yeah you know and and uh, um you know um it's like that guy with the coolest cooler. I don't know if you heard about that. The coolest cooler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> first, at first, when he went up and put it up on the the GoFundMe or Kickstarter or whatever it was, uh, he asked for uh, I think it was two hundred thousand, right? Uh, didn't yeah. even didn't even come close to making his goal. Yeah. I think he 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 got to about thirty five grand. Yeah. And people were like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. So the second time around, he goes for a fifty thousand dollar goal. Yeah. Uh, ends up walking away with five million. Jesus. Yeah, I, I saw that on, uh, on, the, on, the, on the, yeah, yeah, I saw that on the internet. Yeah. And, you know, you just got to get lucky. You know, I don't know what happened. You know, right. I mean, again, we, we, there was a lot of energy in the beginning of Kickstarter, and I think it right. kind of, like, died out. And that's honest yeah. to be true. You know, right. It kind of died out when we switched over in Go-Go. You know, a lot of people said for us to wait. You know, I, I don't have right. time to wait. You know, I mean, I, I, I <laughs> yeah. love to keep going. Time is money. See, but, yeah, time is money. You've got, like, I 10 projects going all at the same time right. and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I want to do this film, and whatever whatever we have, we're gonna make a kick as zombie film. I mean, you know, I, I, I so that to me, that's, you know, I, and then, yeah, again, it's, it's a it's a big fellowship. Look, I just heard a, a a podcast not too long ago that actually uh, a, 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 um, a professional crowdfunder writer who wrote who writes who wrote a book. And he's supposed to be considered a, a professional um, crowdfunder expert, yeah. whatever you want to call it. He wrote a book. He's an author and everything. And he brought up Zombie with a Shotgun. And oh, <laughs> nice. He okay. brought up the campaign. He had a discussion about the campaign. And he basically gave tips. And he couldn't exp- – he also was um, baffled at the fact that the fellowship that I had in Zombie with a Shotgun – wasn't able, you know, he wasn't really baffled. The only thing that he did say on the on the podcast, he said a lot of things, but the, the interesting thing that he said in the podcast that is almost unheard of, of Kyle and I raising that much money on just Twitter, and that he feels like if I was able, Kyle and I was able to raise that money on just Twitter, he said that we, you know, we can do much more in other platforms, social media stuff. Yeah, yeah, yes, but I to know, manage I'm, I'm all of that is insane. Yeah, to manage yeah, I mean, you know, to manage all of that. I mean, that, that's like just you're saying. You, you're like you're running. You're running. You're running your Twitter. Are you also running the the uh, the uh, zombie with a shotgun Twitter, or is somebody else running that for you? I'm running. Uh, yeah, I'm actually running the, the, the Twitter. So like and, you're doing and, all and of it. And, yeah, and so Kyle's doing his. Kyle's helping out. And right. then with the Facebook. Yeah, we don't have time. It's just it's very time consuming. <laughs> and then you know people might say you're lazy, dude. We're on this thing twenty four seven. Like, like how, like how are you able to go get behind the camera on another project or do something else on another project? How is Kyle well, supposed to be I able mean, to go do something? Like, I mean, yeah. It's... Well, you know, there's times that we have to say, look, dude, we, you know, I, I tell, I tell Kyle, look, I'm gonna take care of, you know, I'll take care of you today, you know, whatever, a couple of days, and he'll, you yeah. know, I, I will take it over, you'll take it over, I'll cover for you, whatever. Yeah. So you know, that's you know, it's it, it's really that's what I said. If I would ever go back on this campaign and do another campaign, yes, I would do more research, get more of a team. But you know what? 
coulda, shoulda, woulda. It sure. is what it is within yeah. it, and that's it, you know? Yeah. And, it's, you know, like I said, right. it's, a, it's, a, it's a kick-ass zombie project. I mean, you could see there's five episodes available online. Yeah. And, you know, I'm grateful that a lot of people, such as you guys, yourself, you know, contribute to the campaign and, and knowing that we're going to get. But, you know, it's, uh, you know, again, I think after we're going to be haunted by that about why you guys have so much followers and yeah. it's not, you know, we're going to be going to that. But, well, see, and uh, uh, to me, I just, I think people, I think it's, I think you hit on it. It's like, it's, it's like the candy bar uh, in the checkout line um, at the grocery store. And, you know, it's instantaneous and it's a decision. Yes, no. And then if not, then they move on to something else. And I think, I think you hit on it. Like you're saying with the Kickstarter, you know, you, you were, you weren't going to hit your goal. So then you like, you shifted and it's you know I mean, dude, the the people in this day and age and their attention span, yeah. It, oh, yeah, it's you know, oh, what's that over there? And then they're they're gone, and then they're gone forever. Yeah, you yeah. know, and it's you, you know, you 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 hit it, you hit it mark because a lot of the people that we have from Kickstarter didn't come to us, didn't they? they they're there, yes, they have guys that repledged, yeah. But dude, there's a lot that hasn't hasn't come in and you know it's okay right. you know what i mean like we, we again we we feel like we made the right decision mm-hmm. because we just didn't want to go out and just like do all the work and say damn we just and your number it, you know? and your number is not ridiculous what you're asking for what's what's the number no 35 35 35 Oh, wow. 35. Yeah, have you we, have you and and you've probably thought of this and this is probably nothing new me throwing this at you but have you thought of maybe saying hey if you donate two bucks we'll put your name in no that's the, what the it credits? is no that's uh, what okay, it is so, that's so basically it is. it's scaled so like okay. seven dollars is a bumper sticker ten dollars yeah gets we you have the a, perk yeah yeah got yeah. it yeah. okay the, yeah the perk for a hundred bucks to be your name on it we're gonna start you know Kyle and I this week we're gonna start. Uh, we're going to get together and we're going to talk um, well, we're going to get together on the phone and we're going to talk about uh, you know new strategies you know uh, how we're going to you know promote it more I mean um, you know like I said at the, you know, end of the day we're going to make a kick ass film and uh, yeah you know, absolutely whatever well, see, I mean, have, and to we'll, be perfectly honest with you Hilton one of the reasons like I wanted to have you on I'm completely um, it's a completely self interest myself because I want all my swag like I said earlier today, mm-hmm. um, I want you to hit your goal mm-hmm. so that I get my Blu-ray, I get my signed DVD, mm-hmm. I get my bumper sticker, dude, I get all my dude, stuff. You're, dude, you're gonna get it. Gonna I'm get greedy. It. Like I said, That's again, what I want. Yeah. We don't, we don't, we don't hit the goal. We're still gonna make this film because we're still gonna get money. Sure. And you know, Kyle and I've been talking every day. We already know how we're gonna go doing this. So no matter what, yeah. you know, I already, we already have a team yeah. waiting, and okay. the team is very. The team says, "Dude, look, you know, the, you know, no one's like walking out. It's like, dude, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna leave. You're gonna reach now. Everyone is like, you know, dude, we're gonna, we're gonna stay in this. We're, we're gonna, gonna help. Do it. We'll, you know, we'll do what it we're takes. We're gonna help, and we're yeah. gonna make this film happen. Because you know, every, you know, that, and that's the most great thing about you know, the, you know, it's the team having a team that mm-hmm. believes in you, believes in the project, believes in the work, and is able to put 110 percent and just to make this film. And that's just the great thing. So, like, so, like, you guys already have like a production team already together." Kind of a thing. Yeah, Is that what you're saying? We have a team. You know, we have our like. You know, we have our DP ready. You wow. know, we have you know, we have some of the actors. You know, not all the actors. We sure. want to, of course, have you know, you know, we have like makeup artists. We have locations, and and yeah. you know, uh, we have a script, uh, which okay. most likely we're going to have to cut down pieces and make it work for the budget that we have. Sure. So we have everything ready to rock and roll. Yeah. You know, and, you know, yeah. like the main guys. You know, we have are on board. You know. Yeah. Kyle and I, you know, what, you know, our experience of not, you know, getting people, uh, myself and the DP on board to do that's just, you know, very important and knowing the direction that I want to go with the DP understanding. And we just, you know, it, that's the great thing that we have the main ingredients ready to go. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Um, yeah. Cause like they even have Christian, they even have, I'm telling you, you can, you can be a zombie in the movie. Oh, you okay. just gotta get your ass to California, but right, you could be yeah. you, you get killed on screen yeah. and stuff. So the, like like you're asking, yeah, they have the different levels in there. No shit. Yeah, there's different, there's different levels. We we don't have so far. We don't have a, a zombie before on the Kickstarter. Believe it or not, we did have one. But oh again, wow. Yeah, yeah, crossover. Man. But there's a lot of people that really like you know, dude. It's not cheap. You know, we're here to make a film, and yeah. you know, so we're trying to raise. You know, the first one is a fifteen hundred dollar perk. It's really expensive, yeah. I, I, dude. It's not you know, it's not like you know, 
Sure. Whatever. It's no, because that's, I mean, I mean that's the purpose of it. a lot of guys, it. dude, that, you know, they would DM me and they were like, dude, I really want to get it. I'm going to try my hard to get it, you know, and I'm like, you know, it's pretty cool. You know, a lot of people, <laughs> there's people that has promised that they're going to, you know, they're going to do it. But, yeah. you know, it, the money doesn't, money doesn't come like that. And they know? didn't, but, and they don't give you access to who donated from the Kickstarter, so you could like send out an email, so like, hey man, I know you promised ten thousand on this yeah, last one. You, you can, yes, absolutely, but they don't give, uh, they don't give the the direct email. Okay, you just have to go through Only, like their website and stuff. Yeah, you have to go through. No, you could give, you could work through Kickstarter still, even though it's canceled. You can still make updates to the people that donated. Okay, but it goes through their Kickstarter. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and a Kickstarter, Kickstarter will email them, and it's not, but it's not their direct email. Okay. Only. All right. Uh, I'd have been again, like, I, I'd have been chasing that dude down. Yeah. I'm like, hey man, we're over here. Bring, bring your checkbook dude, over here. I've, I've done, I've done it, and it, and it has worked. Okay. You know, I, I go right, out good. there and I leave him a message, and I, and I give him a pretty cool message. I say, hey, this is the zombie police. Well, how did um, come back. <laughs> how, yeah, how did how did you and Kyle meet? Where did you guys meet? Social media. Uh, really? He worked on the chair. Right? Okay. He's uh, one of the producers and actors in it, and you know I love the project, and you know I, I, him and I we connected, we you know, and I said, dude, man, you got an awesome project going on, and then, and then later on he was like, hey, dude, you got, you know, he knew what I was doing, so what's up with that? And we started just chit chatting and everything, and then uh, I told him that you know I'm trying to see, if I'm going to try to start up a Kickstarter campaign and everything, and then he's like, dude, let me know if you're interested, and then we just started talking more and wow. more, and I just thought that Kyle was the guy to come on board to help me do this. Because he's done, good. he's done a lot of work. He's been, he's been an actor, and he's yeah. been, he's done a lot of things. Nothing, but I mean, he was in the movie, and I need to go and see if I can find it and see, because like I don't know exactly which part he had, but like I said, he was in a movie with Sharon Stone. Oh shit! Yeah. So like I was going through, I was going through Kyle's IMDb, and I'm okay. like, holy shit! Wow. This movie had everybody in it. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> uh, and that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. So no, I mean, he's I, been. That's the thing, you know. Yeah. That, that was one of the things why I brought him on. You know, he. You know he knows what he's doing. Yeah, it's just it's unbelievable. Well, now, um, have you have you had any like uh, industry execs strike interest, basically saying, "Hey, I'll I'll throw down some cash, but here's the return I need to see" or something like that? Or <laughs> that's another conversation, but I do it. I'll, I'll quickly <laughs> go through it really quick. Dude, <laughs> I, I, I had I had a lot, but the problem was a lot of these executives, and I always say to everybody. They wanted to take my farm and just leave me with a cow. Yes. You know what it. I mean? I see. That, they, they just wanted to take it all. They right. wanted to take my farm. <laughs> right. And, you know, and, like I said, if I was lucky, they will give me the freaking cow and a little piggy with it. You know, like, hey, right. this is yours. You know, right. we're going to take it. Right. Yeah. And I just couldn't do it. Dude. Right. No, good for you. Not hey, I'm glad. It. I'm glad that you're not a Robert Kirkman. Right. Oh, burn. <laughs> hey. Listen, <laughs> when you let somebody destroy your baby uh, the way that he's let Hey, look, I don't I don't work in the industry, so I can burn bridges all day long. Hilton, you don't need to say a word, brother, but you know, I've been <laughs> venting about the Walking Dead season 6 finale for weeks since it ended because I don't agree with it and I think it's a money grab and I think it's a stunt and I think it's just to get us to come back for season yeah. 7 premiere and everything else. I'm dude, I've been watching a lot of TV. Um, and so is Scott M. Gimple because he believes that this is what you do at TV and you don't take care of your fan base. So oh, here we go. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, I, I'll just I'll just I, I'll, I just I just destroy it because like, I, you know, that kind of stuff. Look, Scott M. Gimple yeah, is yeah. never Scott M. Gimple is never going to be responsible for any money coming my way. OK, the man's I'm never going to interact with the man. I'm never going to have a project with the man or anything like that. Robert Kirkman. Him yeah. either, because he's got his own stuff. So I mean, right. he's he's the he's the creator and he's actually producer of The Walking Dead. Now he has this stupid ass outcast thing that he's doing on Cinemax. He's already been paid. He's made his money. Yeah, yeah dude, he's yeah over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, look, look, I, 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 like I said, I, I, I was I approached by a lot of guys. And yeah. Again, it always came down to okay. We're taking. We're gonna it. take your project. Yeah. 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 And I was like, you know, it, the you know, script. The like, script's good, Hilton. We like the script, but you know, I think we need to bring in a professional script writer to kind yeah, of like clean it up yeah. a little bit. Yeah, um, I, you know, <laughs> I had a, you know even when I started, you know to start the campaign, you know, I had an executive that come, you know, came to me and said, "Look, I, I will shut down the campaign for you. I pay for everything, and I'll and I'll give you, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars for the budget." 
you know, and but you know, we want we want you know, I'm not gonna name no names. We say, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 I wasn't even gonna ask you, brother. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to bleep the names. I wasn't even gonna ask you. I don't want you, you started already like, yeah, he was already casting the film. Oh, oh wow. wow! He's like, I have, I can get this guy, I can get this guy, I can get this guy, and you know what I told him, and I told him, and it was the truth. I said, you know, I told him, you know what I love about what I what I've done already with Zombie Shotgun. I told him it's just, it has this indie feel for it to it. Yeah, it is this intimate, is this intimate project. It of feels real talent, of, right? Of actors, yeah, that just come on board and we have fun on set. Yeah, and I said, I don't really want to be able to have prima donnas in the film and i just i said i think it's going to be a problem i said look we can talk about you bringing monies in and everything like that i said but you know i like it the way i have it already i want to yeah. bring new different people in it i don't mm-hmm. want the the usual suspects that we see in all these horror films yeah, over and exactly. over yeah and i was like I, candy I, man I don't want to see that. the guy the guy that plays candy man <laughs> mm-hmm. whatever his name is I he's said, I don't I, he's in Everything. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. he's in I, I every single. Don't want it. Yeah, so I like I totally yeah. understand. Or like Samuel Jackson. Yes. Yeah. Like every it's, every. It's every he's either starring in the movie. Yes. He's either uh, the the uh, the assistant like the yeah. the supporting role. Yes. Uh, he's either uh, the 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 guy in the back with a couple of lines. Or yeah. he's just the dude that's walking around in the back with no lines. Yeah. But he's in every yeah. fucking in movie. Every movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know. Yeah, I, and, and that was good. You know, and, and I was like, look, and again, the same thing also, the, you know, the exec wanted to take it away. And I'm like, yeah. no. I said, yeah. I said, look, if you come in with money, I, I'm going to do it my way, yeah. and I'm going to have control of the project. I said, yeah, I definitely give you percentage, but you're not taking it all yeah. away from me. Dude, I watched Entourage. No, I watched that TV I show. Just, I, I, just, I know how Hollywood works. <laughs> Uh, and 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 yeah, I and you know I I'm say not, this I'm, loosely. I, I say this very loosely, <laughs> but like, I'm 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 very surprised uh, that that executives are coming in and basically saying, you know what I mean? Like, I want to take a big chunk. Now, now I say I'm surprised very loosely. Yeah, well, not just a chunk. <laughs> he, he, they wanted they want to take final the say, right? They want final say, final mm. cut. Like, they want final. What, cut. what what I what I don't understand? Listen, you got some money, right? You've got a shit ton of money. Finance the project that you obviously believe in. Mm-hmm. Take a take a, a percentage, yeah. and you walk away making more money. Yeah, why is that a bad thing? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. let this guy make his movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's say I wow. donate three million bucks, and I walk away with I get paid back my three mil, and I walk away with an extra one and a half mil. Yeah. Everybody else makes a million dollars or something. A million dollars or something. Why is that such a bad idea? Yeah. You just made out. With a million and a half dollars on top of your three, yeah, you know what I mean. But that's not how studios yeah. see it. I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, so. you know, it, it, you're right. It's just, it's just unbelievable. You know, I mean, you know, like, I, I guess. Yeah. I, you know, obviously they all know that it, the project can definitely go far. Yeah. They yeah. all know that it can go far, and and you, you know, I, I you know, I, I tell them straight out. I said, look, the the project has been going, you know, good. The yeah. way I've been doing it, and I don't think there's any other way I should do it. Yeah, no, there's absolutely, totally applaud you. Well, I mean, it's like Kevin Smith. I, yeah. you know, I, I mean, Kevin Smith mm-hmm. uh, and Clerks. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, the guy said that. You know, he 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 went into debt thirty thousand dollars. He maxed out every. He maxed out card. every credit card that he had yeah. to be able to to rent the cameras and buy the film. And he and said he just ran into uh, thing after thing after thing after yeah. thing where he just had to keep spending money. Yeah. But but it worked out for him. Look where it put know? him. It yeah. put him on the map. And then the yeah, same type was, of thing, like you're saying, because then, because um, because then, then you have mall rats. And when I go back and I watch mall rats, and I see all of the people that Kevin Smith launched their careers with that movie, right, right, Ben Affleck, mm-hmm. right, because I'm not going to say his name correctly, right, Ben Affleck, right. was in that movie, <laughs> <Fleck>. <clears throat> and just became. Whatever right. you know. Have you ever have you ever seen that documentary uh, of of the guys who made the Boondock Saints? Have you ever seen that documentary? No, no, I, I, no, I never saw it. So, so okay, so they have a documentary out there, and it's oh my god, it's worth a watch. It's a, it's worth an extreme watch because it's about the the two guys. Um, they were in a band called The Brood. Um, they also did the soundtrack for uh, the Boondock Saints, and he wrote a script called The Boondock Saints, and he went out to uh, to an executive, and um, 
executive, um, some big executive out in Warner Brothers or whatever, decided he was going to finance the movie. Um, but uh, I guess financing was taking a long time, and it's basically the rise and fall of the guy who wrote Boondock Saints. He basically goes after the uh, the the executive, basically going, you know, don't you know who the fuck I am? I wrote the fucking Boondock Saints. I made a fucking multi, you know, uh, million dollar you know, interest movie, um, and then basically the record exec, or the, the movie exec goes, um, I'm pulling funding if, you know, if that's the way you're going to be. If you're going to be a prima donna, you haven't even made a movie yet, um, I'm taking all my money. Um, uh, dude, it, it's an interesting documentary of, of, of watching the rise and fall of these guys. Well, they ended up reconciled late, years later. They made the All Saints Day yeah. um, movie. He was definitely uh, affiliated with the project, yeah. but he didn't oversee it like he did the Boondock Saints movie. Yeah. Yeah, I forget I, what it's called. Well, that, uh, that's definitely interesting to watch. Yeah, so it'll be. It's one of those things, but yeah, I, you yeah. know, Hollywood in general, dude. I'm. I. I don't. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't want to be in your shoes, <laughs> right? <laughs> as far as I, as far as I goes, because I just know it's you know it's a difficult thing and whatnot. Hilton, man, um, I'm going to keep president um, and put it out there, and then um, I hopefully we'll have Kyle on next week. Um, and so, I mean, you know, I, I'll do what I can brother to help you out and, and all that stuff. Um, I would be, you know, more than happy to have you come back on when we've got more time. Um, just to absolutely. talk, I yeah. love talking, uh, Hollywood insider stuff yeah, and that kind of thing. Uh, it's so interesting to me, um, from the outside, <laughs> I right. can enjoy it from the right, outside right. and not yeah, have to be yeah. pulling my hair out. Well, I've 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 worked in bits and pieces of the inside, and uh, let me tell you, um, I, I wasn't somebody who was um, anywhere near on the totem pole. I'm I'm the guy who was cleaning the totem pole, um, but 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 enough of that um, being close enough to the totem pole. Um, and understanding the inner workings Just made, seeing me, everything is, is made me realize, like, fuck this industry. <laughs> you know well, what then I mean? here yeah. you are right back in something along <laughs> well, the same line. Oh, well, yeah. But, the, you yeah, know, I'm, yeah. I'm not some you fucking know, execs, yeah. you know, fucking bitch where yeah. he's get, he's coming in going. All right, guys, we're going to we're going to we're going to talk about um, this business today. And uh um, he's paying me a shit ton of money and to uh, go get his coffee. Yeah, and uh, you guys are going to talk about his business and you know get people to go to his you know in, in, into his business. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's, it's not like that type of situation where yeah. we're like the fucking the 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 puppets of you know the big execs. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got you, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, dude. Uh, no. Um, I tell you what, Hilton. Uh. It was a pleasure. Let uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, for everybody out there, uh, you can find them on Twitter. Uh, give them, give them your, give them all your Twitter out. Hilton. Yeah, I. Uh, if you guys are interested, of course, everyone, who's, anyone that's listening, and uh, everyone, uh, you could definitely Google "zombie with a shotgun." There you and go. When you Google "zombie with a shotgun," you'll be able to see uh, the first episode of "zombie with a shotgun," and you'll be able to see the concept and be able to see what we're trying to accomplish here. Um, from there, you can also watch all the five episodes once you hit the first episode. Um, you can also go on to zombiewithashotgun.tumblr.com. There you You're go. You're able to see articles, comic books, uh, the progress of the comic books, and photos, bills, and the site of the Indiegogo. There you go. Um, and, yeah, and then Indiegogo, uh, you search Indiegogo Zombie with a Shotgun, and there you'll be able to contribute and check out the perks and the rewards that come with each of the perks. And uh, for my Twitter account, if you ever want to ask me a question uh, directly, you can. Um, it's zombie w a shotgun, and that's my Twitter handle. There you go. And you can ask me anything there. All right, sounds good, Hilton. I appreciate the time, brother. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks for being. It's a very show. interesting product. I, I uh, project. I hope everything goes well. I'm going to stay paying attention. Um, and then, uh, I'll be in contact and we'll see about setting something else, brother, Set, setting something else up and bring you back on at another time. Sounds like a plan. All right, man. Take it easy. You too, guys. All Take right. care. We'll see you. Take it easy. Thanks, Thanks, man. Bye. All right, bye. Thanks, bye. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So make sure, uh, anybody that's out there is, uh, listening and pay attention there. Uh, zombie with a shotgun.com. Uh, go out there, get all the information there. Um, yeah, we got him in late, so we ran long. So... 